Welcome to Yauza, a snack-sized slice of Viennese classical music and Austrian culture. I'm your host, Daniel Adam Maltz. Maria Anna Mozart was a child prodigy known for interpreting the greatest maestro's most difficult sonatas and concertos on the harpsichord with great clarity, inexpressible lightness, skill, and style. It was a source of wonder to many. In this excerpt from Classical Cake Opus 16, we are talking with Salzburg-based musicologist Dr. Eva Neumeyer. So, Nonarl showed music talent early. Who's taught her the harpsichord? Well, first of all, I'd like you not to use her nickname, Nonarl, uh, because we are not related to her, obviously, and it was a name used in the family. Um, she was taught the harpsichord by Leopold Mozart, her father, and he started uh, her on the harpsichord when she was eight years okay. old. So the siblings, which were mentioned, you know, uh, quite talented very early on, and the father Leopold embarked on a European tour. And could, also the mother. So could you tell us more about this time of their tours around Europe? Um, well, they started uh, in June of 1763, and uh, this tour lasted uh, three and a half years, so a long, long tour. Of course, one traveled a lot slower yeah. at that time. There's a, a report uh, talking about Maria Anna's playing, saying his daughter, Leopold's daughter, 11 years of age, plays the harpsichord marvelously and performs the longest and most difficult pieces with impressive precision. Mm -hmm. So clearly they made a good impact. Yes. So why caused her to stop traveling? Um, Leopold Mozart didn't want his daughter to be a traveling artist. In society, it was not seen as positive for clearly a woman the, at that time. Clearly the connotation and the expectations were different Yes. for Wolfgang for... and for Mariana. Did she continue playing music in adulthood? Yes, she definitely did. Um, when she married in uh, she married in 1784 and went to St. Gilden, which is about 30 kilometers from Salzburg. Mm -hmm. But we know that she continued to practice the piano three hours yeah. per day. So that's a long time for the the 18th century. And she was also soloist in the concerts of Count Ernst von Schwarzenberg, hmm. which were the dominant concerts at that time uh, in Salzburg in the early 19th century. There's a quote where they say, uh, and the most eminent soloist is Maria Anna von Bertolt zu Sonnenburg, Mozart's hmm. sister. In Salzburg, people began to visit her. And in 1824, Constanze came and what, and with her husband, um, Georg Nicolas Nissen, who was working at that time on a biography of Mozart. And Maria Anna had kept all the family's letters, and that's what she gave them. So this biography would not have happened without her. A lot of stories we know from his early days, we know from her. So we really have her to thank for yes, this legacy of course. and this wealth of information we have. Of course, uh, I mean partly Constanze, of course, but yeah. also Maria Anna. This video was an excerpt from Classical Cake Opus 16, the other Mozart prodigy. Visit classicalcake.com for more. I'm Daniel Adam Maltz. Bis zum nächsten Mal.